What's going on YouTube? I am Germ here and today we are going to be talking about Paris once again. We're going to be checking in with how things have been going over the past few weeks and the past couple months because there's not a lot of great news but there is some good news in here and I just wanted to overall talk about where the Paris market is at, what some of my updated thoughts and opinions are and what my game plan and what some possible game plans going forward might be. I did want to say that I uh, over the past couple weeks have kind of slowed down my cash trading as the market was crashing. I was kind of in between between jobs, I, I, I was changing up jobs. So I was in between paychecks, stuff like that. I had a lot of weird, uh, you know, uh, in real life stuff going on. So I kind of paused my cash trading, but I am picking up that cash trading once again. So if you guys are interested, I know there's a lot of people looking to panic and sell and uh, cash out on a lot of their items and stuff right now. If you are looking to sell any of your CSGO items, skins, stickers, anything like that, uh, I'm not buying anything and everything. I want to be a little bit picky. I want to find the right stuff for the right prices and right deals and everything right now. But uh, if you are looking to sell, definitely hit me up over on Twitter. My Twitter is going to be linked in the description below we might be able to get some kind of cash trade done uh you know i buy for crypto paypal all different kinds of stuff so hit me up we can see what's going on but with that being said let's get right into this paris video so if we take a look on esport fire let me get uh this cat out of the way we got a cat say hello now go on the floor uh we take a look at this paris index on esport fire obviously this does not look great over the past month paris has been getting wrecked paris has been getting killed the sale has been over for a little bit over a month now i think it's been like five or six weeks so um this month graph here is all post Paris sale ending, um, which we were kind of curious to see what was going to happen. Was the market going to start uh, going up a little bit, going to start taking off? Um, obviously, it's been down for many different reasons. One, um, you know, just in general, maybe Paris was a little bit oversold, maybe the supply or a little bit overinvested, maybe the supplies were a little bit too high, maybe things were overpriced, whatever. Um, but this also coincides uh, and lines up pretty effectively with the disaster that was the CS2 release, the market crash in general. Also, crypto has been up, and I know a lot of people have been kind of just getting out of CS stuff in general to go over to crypto. Um, there's a lot of different reasons why Paris has been down. Um, but yeah, this is where we are at. Over the past month, uh, at the beginning, this was about a month ago, the Paris uh, market was at 1133. Today, we are at 973, which I believe is about a 15% drop in the last month. So obviously, that is not great. We did have this really, really big downward trend down to like 952 we saw a little bit of a bounce back but now we're kind of trickling back down so it is very very possible we are still going to go lower it's not like we found a bottom nothing like that necessarily just yet it absolutely could go lower if we zoom out to the all-time paris uh market you will see we are now at all-time lows there was a point where we were kind of um you know not quite below where we were back in like uh october 5th uh, like early october but we have kind of crossed below that point this is now new all-time lows for the entire paris market now this is everything in Paris. This is papers, this is glitters, this is hollows, this is capsules, this is everything put together. So you have to keep in mind that obviously different subsectors of Paris, like capsules or hollows or autographs or whatever, different subsectors of Paris can be up and down different amounts. Doesn't mean everything is at their lowest price. It doesn't mean everything is getting killed. Obviously, some things are doing okay, some things are doing decent, some things are doing terrible. Um, so you have to keep that in mind a little bit. But uh, if we take a look at where some different hollows and stuff are at right now, we see a lot of stuff that is down very, very low. We see the ends hollow at 52 cents. I mean, at some point, these stickers, especially these bottom stickers, they're going to get so cheap if things keep going down. They're going to get so cheap that eventually they're going to be steals of pickups. You know, the ends hollow, I get it. It's not a great sticker. But if you look back to Stockholm and Antwerp and you see some of its cheapest stickers, they were cheaper than 52 cents. But if you see some of their cheapest stickers, they still did quite well over time because guess what? During the periods where Stockholm goes up, Stockholm as a whole goes up, or Antwerp as a whole goes up, the bottom tier stuff goes up as well. And if it gets so cheap, um, the risk reward potential can get very, very great. So I'm not saying I'm buying Ants or Bad News Eagles or anything like that just now, but I'm saying if they can con continue to drop, who knows how crazy these prices could get, who knows how low they could get, eventually they could be uh, maybe some very, very good pickups. I do think Mongols at 74 cents start to look a little bit interesting as a unique sticker to Paris. I think Greyhound at $1.04 could be a little bit interesting as well as a unique sticker to Paris. Um, I see here into the breach at $1.74. I see Heroic below $2. You know, some of these things are starting to look like really, really decent deals to me. I would especially be looking at any stickers that you actually like or believe in on this first page as we start to get cheaper and cheaper. Because again, the, the one of the main issues with Paris is how expensive all the hollows are. So some of these hollows that are starting to get cheaper, uh, they might be worth taking a look at. Then you kind of get into this mid tier 
tier where I would be a little bit more careful. These are a little bit more expensive. I would really only pick your favorites from the mid tier. Some of my favorites definitely being stuff like Fluxo and Fnatic now under $4 as well. Starts to look like a really, really attractive pickup price. And then finally, let's check out the high tier prices, the big dogs in pairs. And this is crazy. Gamer Legion was once like, I want to say like $14 or $15. It's now down to $7.82. Apex was once vying for the top spot with Maus. It is down to $6.86. So really, it does look to me like the stuff getting killed the most is the top end of the uh, Paris hollow market. Apex way down. Gamer Legion way down. Furia way down. Maus way down. And Furia and Maus just kind of going back and forth very, very close with each other, um, but both hovering right around $10 right now, which I do think is interesting. So Again, if you were one of these people that was loving Mouse at $15 or loving Gamer Legion at $12 or loving Apex at $10 or whatever, you do have an opportunity to buy the dip. And uh, yeah, if I didn't, my chair almost just fell apart. I don't know how loud that was. Um, but if I was somebody who Paris was my favorite, top number one investment. I really believed in Paris the most. I would definitely be buying right now because you could be lowering a lot of your cost bases and a lot of stuff that you bought um, during Paris. Again, that doesn't mean during the Paris sale. That doesn't mean prices can't go lower. They absolutely still can go lower. Um, but again, if you have a job, if you have some way that income's coming in, if you have money coming in on a regular basis and prices do drop more, you can just buy more in the future. Now, I'm probably not going to be buying many Paris hollows right now. It would be an awesome time. I could lower my cost bases. It would be great. But I got to a number that I was comfortable investing in the Paris markets and when I was investing in Paris a couple months ago, the entire market was up and I didn't love where a lot of prices were and I thought Paris was one of the best opportunities and investments out there. But right now, even though Paris is starting to get to much more attractive prices, the whole CS market is crashing and there's great deals all over the place. So Paris doesn't stand out to me as much anymore as the only great opportunity. So again, if you think Paris is one of the best opportunities out there or you really like Paris, I just have so many different sounds and distractions and stuff going on. What is going on? Uh, if you think think Paris is one of the best opportunities out there, um, yes, you definitely should consider buying. And, and it's one of the things you should look into. And it could be an amazing opportunity. Um, but again, it's not necessarily where I'm going to be putting all my money right now because I already have a lot of money in Paris. I want to diversify into some other stuff. And uh, there's tons of awesome great deals out there right now, which wasn't necessarily the case during the peak CS2 hype. Now, if we look at capsules, capsules have been holding up um, a little bit better than some of the hollows. Obviously, capsules have still went down. You know, a lot of these capsules were like, I don't even know, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34 cents before. Now you can see challengers all the way down to 27, which makes sense because as the stickers inside these capsules go down, the capsule prices are going to go down as well. But the good news here, some of the good news is that these capsules are still above 25 cents. Obviously, we know you could buy them for 25 cents from Valve for a long time. The fact they're still above 25 cents, they're not crashing to like 24 or 23 or 22 or 20 or anything like that, still shows that Paris still has some value, still has some demand. And again, at the end of the day, Paris is one of the best looking sticker collections in the game. Now, might this whole market crash and CS2 disaster and all this stuff have an effect on Paris? Yeah, sure. Part of the Paris uh, investing thesis was the fact that CS2 is going to be this amazing game, the player base is going to explode, yada, yada, yada. And I still think it's going to happen in the future. But the fact that it's not happening right now is going to extend the Paris timeline a little bit. So people are going to have to be patient. You might have to hold Paris a little bit longer than you expected. You might have to hold Paris through the Copenhagen Major, which obviously is going to be very, very risky because if the Copenhagen Major is borderless, that's going to make Paris crash back down. But what is your other option? Your other option is to sell at a loss right now. So, uh, but again, since Paris is one of the best looking stickers and I still think CS2 is going to be a great game, blah, blah, blah six months, a year, 18 months, two years from now, I still think Paris is going to be very, very good, but it just might take longer than we initially expected. But um, there are also some capsules still doing decently well. You have the Challenger's Autograph still at 32 cents. Obviously, that's quite good considering how much of a downturn this whole market's been in. You still have a lot of capsules around 30, 31 cents. Obviously, you have Challengers and Legends down to 27. They're getting close to 25, which is not necessarily great a month after the sale. But things could definitely be worse. As far as the stuff getting hit hardest um, so far during this drop, you have, uh, you know, Jabby Gold looks to be down 26% in the last week. I'm trying to find some stuff that actually, uh, you know, is a little bit more expensive because um, a lot of this stuff has like no volume or it's one cent or whatever. Um, you have the Forge Glitter down 25% in the last week. You have the Bad News Eagles Eagles Glitter down 25% in the last week. I know glitters were pretty hot for a little while, but then it seems like kind of maybe getting wrecked a little bit lately. You have the Greyhound Hollow from Paris down. 21% in the last week. Um, you have the Mao's paper from Paris down 20% in the last week. So um, definitely a lot of stuff getting hit very, very hard. But again, stuff that you believe in and stuff that you like and stuff that you want to own getting hit hard, 
that's a sale. That's an opportunity to buy the dip. That's an opportunity to buy lower. Again, if you like some of the stuff at the higher prices from a month ago, from two months ago, three months ago, uh, and you see the prices now, these stickers have not changed. It's the same stickers. It's the same stuff. It's just a cheaper price. You know, consider this a Black Friday deal or whatever. It can be scary buying the stuff dropping. I know people don't want to catch the falling knife and blah, 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 blah. But if you already bought some of this stuff at higher prices and you thought it was a good purchase then, then this should really be an exciting time for you, even though um, I know it's a stressful, crazy time seeing prices drop. But you have stuff like the Face, face Clan Glitter down 20%, Face Clan Hollow down 19.6%, the VSM Gold down 19%. You know, so much stuff's getting hit very, very hard. You have Vitality Hollow down 19% in the last week, Monty Glitter down 19%, Cadian Gold down 18%, Fanatic Hollow down 18%, Monty Hollow down 18%. Um, you know, just tons of stuff uh, getting hit very, very hard, which obviously sucks to see into the breach hollow down 17%. Um, so yeah, it's obviously a ton of people said Paris looks good, but it's overpriced. It's overhyped. It's overinvested, blah, blah, blah. Well, now things are 20% cheaper pretty much across the board. Uh, it might be as good of a time to ever to get into Paris if that's something you were considering doing or wanting to do or whatever. Because I know a lot of people said when the Paris sale ended, they were like, damn, I want to buy more Paris, but it's too late. I missed the boat, blah, blah, blah. Well, now you have a second chance uh, and really even a first chance because these are prices that maybe people who bought during the sale weren't even able to get. So you could honestly get in at a better time than a lot of other people. And even for stuff like capsules, which is above 25 uh, cents on the Steam market and stuff right now, you can get for cheaper on third party marketplaces. So there's still tons of opportunity and still tons of potential and potential money to be made in the Paris market, spec despite the fact that they're getting absolutely crushed over the past week. But that is pretty much our video today, guys. Hopefully I catch you the next one. Until then, peace.